Welcome to the first section of creating a new active load. Starting with the first section of new active load window. Under the load information tab we see a number of boxes we need to complete. Our first box on the form is the load number. This will be automatically populated for us and will not need any inputted information. The bill to can be filled out in two ways. If we don't already have this customer saved into the system then we need to click the green plus sign icon. All the sections with the red asterisks are required. After we are finished with all the customer's information, click save. Notice this customer didn't auto-populate in the text box. We now need to search for that customer by entering the first few letters of our customer's name and click on the correct one. If our customer is already in the database, then just enter the first few letters of the customer's name to find them. Our next box is the dispatcher box, which is automatically populated for us as well. The sales rep section is optional. If we choose to enter this information, we can add up to two sales reps. Using the drop down menu, click the sales rep's name to calculate their commission. The status will always show open since this is a new load being added. The work order box is optional. Type and rate are both required fields. Here we need to enter the type of haul needed and the flat rate amount we are charging our customer. The P slash D, pick and drops, FSC, fuel surcharge, other charges are all optional text boxes. In the picks and drops and fuel surcharge text boxes, we can enter the dollar amount. If we want to add other charges, click the blue dollar sign icon. This will open up a pop-up where we can enter other charges or advances. Click OK when finished. Notice that if we add information to these optional text boxes, the rate changes. For a carrier load, the name of the carrier can be filled out two ways. If we don't already have this carrier saved into the system, then we need to click the green plus sign icon. All the sections with the red asterisks are required. After we are finished with all the carrier's information, click Save. Notice this carrier did not auto-populate in the text box. We now need to search for the carrier by entering the first few letters of our carrier's name and click on the correct one. If our carrier is already in the database, then just enter the first few letters of the carrier's name to find them. Next, look the equipment type. To add the carrier fee, click the blue dollar sign icon. A pop-up appears for us where we can input fees the carrier is charging us for having the load picked up and delivered. Enter the type, rate, picks, drops, and fuel surcharge. These will all be calculated in the total rate. Moving over to the charges tab, we can enter any other charges with a description and dollar amount. The advance tab is available for us to enter any amounts paid in advance. Click OK to close. Double check the currency box is correct. Click next to move to filling out the shipper information. 